Now this is a ship. My, she's yar. Is she ready to sail? She's ship shape in Bristol fashion. What does that mean? What does yar mean? Phineas! Verb! I need your help! Hey, Belshi, I thought your friend Mishti was visiting from India. She is, but she is different now. Different how? Did she turn into a werewolf or something? Now she is a girl! She was probably a girl the whole time. Let me explain. Four years ago, back in India, we used to have such a good time together. Give it to me! No, no, no! Me! Give it to me! No, me! Me! I'm open! And she never ever showed any kind of sign of werewolfism at all? If we could just stick to the topic, please. Five minutes and 48 seconds ago, back in my home. Bajit, the Patels are here. Coming, Mish! Hi, Bajit. <sighs> so after hiding in the bathroom, I jumped out the window and came over here as quickly as possible. I do not even know how to act in front of a girl. I do not even know what girls like. Hmm. Isn't it like sugar and spice and everything nice? That is what they are made of. I do not want to build one. Duh. You know, I think what girls really like is romance. Romance? Yeah, we learned all about it in this movie we watched last night. Dinner, music, candlelight, and all on a romantic cruise over the ocean blue. Lucky for you, we happen to have a ship right here. Verve, cancel the giant bottle. I know what we're going to do today. Hey, where's Perry? Uh, you're going to have to pick it up a little, sir. They're starting to boo. I've got here, Carl. Oh, he's here. Agent P, sorry about the delay. Doofenshmirtz is at it again. He's been frequenting hobby shops and, well, Carl's worried sick. Aren't you, Carl? Well, not really sick, sir. I am a little What concerned. did I say about contradicting me in front of the agents? Sorry, sir. So, that's pretty much it. You can go, Agent P. That's it. Okay, Carl. Bajit, aren't you in the bathroom? I climbed out the window. Oh, I thought it was a Mother, cabinet. please, may I just speak to Mishti? Hey, Bajit, what's up? <clears throat> uh, if you do not already have plans for this upcoming afternoon... Actually, I had plans with you. Oh, okay. Well, if you are busy... No, no Bajit, what did you have in mind? Well, uh, some friends of mine have planned <clears throat> an all-inclusive luxury cruise around Danville Harbor. A boat ride? Cool. I will go get my stuff. Highlights of the evening will include a romantic candlelit dinner with... Oh, she's gone. I just wish Jeremy was more romantic. You know, like Romeo and Juliet romantic, but without all the dying. Oh, hi, Candace. Yes, Daisy, I'm going to have to call you back. Hey, Mom. Candace, make it quick. I'm in the middle of something. Denise and Ferb are leaving on a cruise ship, but I don't even know where they're going. I can hardly hear you. What? What's this about a ship? Are you at the harbor? No, I'm at home. Wait, the harbor. That's where they're going. I'll bust them there. Was that Candace on the phone? Yeah, she probably doesn't know we're in the living room. So, what do you think? You know, you're right. It does kind of sound like the ocean. Doofenshmirtz Sable Incorporated! Ah, Perry the Platypus. You like my scale model? I even put my own little building here. Look, look there it is. Ah, yes, my home. I can still remember the day I bought it. Flashback! My real estate agent had already shown me hundreds of other places within my budget, but none of them were acceptable. That is until he showed me this magnificent building with a view all the way to the ocean. But the first night I realized why the price was so cheap. All night long, fog horns from passing ships would sound. I couldn't understand why all these ships were there until one day I turned my neck to the right, about 45 degrees, and there I saw it! The Danville Lighthouse! It was attracting the ships like moths to a flame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the lighthouse all the way over here to the other side of town. The boats will follow it like moths following a... Have I already used that, uh, that metaphor? I think I... How about like bees to, um, whatever bees go to or flies to... Uh, let's just go with the moth thing. For your safety, Mishti, I invite you to hold on to the rail. It appears to be very clean, which I know is important to you now that you are a girl. Huh? Hey, Isabella, what you doing? The Fireside Girls and I just got our shrimp net repair patches. What are you doing? A romantic cruise. You want to come? You want me to come on a romantic cruise with you? Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, okay. Romance, it's not in the air. It's not on the breeze and it's not in the trees and it's not in your head. It's on the wall. If you're not looking for love, don't set foot on our boat of romance. On our boat of romance. I knew it. Time to call mom. Candace, I can't understand a word you're saying. 
Candace, if you're feeding the geese again, I hope you're not wearing a tube top. Do you mind? Now it sounds like a spaceship. Okay, let me try. Well, they gotta come back sometime. And when they do, I'll be standing right here ready to bust them. Would you get out of me? Wow, Phineas, this is so romantic. You think this is romantic? Wait till you see what else I have planned. Yes. Behold, a romantic candlelit dinner for two. Oh, Phineas. For show the happy couple to their table. Here is our table, Mishti. Is this okay with you? It is not too drafty, is it? It will be fine, Bajit. Cue music. Classical music. Very romantic. Cue rose petals. Cue pid. Hey, everyone. I'm wearing a diaper. So, do I know romance or what? What? I said... Do I know romance? I heard you. This food is really good. Do you not think so? Uh, yes, I guess so. Subtle, yet pungent. Yes, very. Hey, can you pass me one of those bad boys? Uh, look, Baljeet, I appreciate all this, but, uh, I just want to hang out like we used to. But, uh, are you sure you do not want to hear more music? Did somebody say music? Oh! I've attached rockets to the lighthouse, so when I push this button, it will fly to the other side of town. The ships will follow, and then I can finally get some sleep. Well, I suppose I should have put some sort of steering mechanism on it, but uh, live and learn. Perry the Platypus, how did you escape? What's that? Oh! Oh, I guess I walked into that one. Aw, oh, man, I worked all weekend on that. Oh, look, this steamboat makes a perfect little chimney. I hope Perry the Platypus appreciates all this hard work. He won't. I know. You know what, Perry the Platypus? I think it's time for you to go. That's right, go on. Your services are no longer required. The lighthouse is gone and there's nothing you can do about it. So you might as well run back to Major Monogram and tell him you lost this one. Did I mention how nice the weather is? Several times. Well, it is nice. I don't get it. We've tried everything in that romantic movie, but nothing seems to work. The orchestra, the pedals, the love song. The only other thing they did in that movie was sink the ship. Hmm, that ought to do it. Ship sinking was not in the brochure. Wow, is this romance or what? Phineas, where are the life preservers? We don't have any. What? We've got fun preservers. Hit it, Ferb. Well, that's the end of this diaper. Okay, everybody, to the fun preservers. Oh, oh. Stupid first. So you are telling me that even though you are now a girl, you still like to have fun just like in the old days? Of course, Valji. Then you would not mind if I went like this? Not if you do not mind if I go like this. <laughs> hey, this romance stuff was fun. We should do it more often. Yes. Yes, we should. Hey, there you are, Perry. All right, you guys better tell me what you were up to on that cruise ship. Just whipping up a little romance for Baljeet and his friend Mishti. You created romance? Yeah. And did it work? Looks like it. They seem to be having a great time. Do you think you could do that for me and Jeremy? I don't see why not. Candace, <laughs> I love having some kids feet in my face as much as the next guy. But how about we just go grab a slushy burger? Doofenshmirt Sable Incorporated After hours Ah, finally, a good night's sleep.